Good afternoon, everyone. We're now getting closer and closer to having a vaccine to tame COVID-19. It's a hopeful sign that a return to normal life might be on the horizon. But what do we know about how vaccines affect people of different backgrounds? And can these vaccines prevent the virus from being spread? It's an important question. And Bloomberg Intelligence senior pharmaceutical analyst Sam Fizelli joins us now from France with more. Sam, it's great to have you back with us. Having a diverse group of trial participants is extremely important to the overall results of the trial. Tell us why that is. Yes, hi, uh, and thank you for having me again. Obviously, if you look at the um, data that, that's been collected over the past six months, unfortunately, the mortality and morbidity of this um, infection, of this disease, COVID-19 disease, is much higher. Just for example, take mortality. It's almost twice as um, uh, serious in the or higher in the black community than it is in the white community. So it's for that reason that it's important to make sure that any vaccine trial or any therapeutic trial that's done for this disease also is tested properly and has good representation of that of those communities, Hispanic, um, uh, Asian, etc., within it. So what do we know about the trials that are being conducted and, and have been conducted thus far, Sam, when it comes to the vaccines? Have they actually succeeded in, in recruiting a diverse group of candidates so we can have that kind of data? Well, actually, interestingly, both trials from Pfizer-BioNTech and also the one from Moderna had about 10 percent of the uh, patient that they recruited from the black community. And then various numbers from the uh, from a Hispanic background, of course, uh, uh, Moderna's trial was only a U.S.-based trial, whereas Pfizer was broader and included some Latin American countries. So, of course, their representation would be higher. But so that's about 10 percent. And if you think about that, for Moderna, that would mean out of the 95 cases they've reported on so far, only nine would be from a black uh, community. And that, that's something that needs to be, um, to be thought about when we get uh, to look at the numbers. It's, it's not just the efficacy of this vaccine and, and the way that it works in, in people from different backgrounds, though, Sam, when it comes to the actual distribution of the vaccine and accessibility. I think this is a, a really important question because healthcare is is very unequal in many parts of the United States and, of course, parts of the world as well. What is the solution there to actually get this vaccine to the people who need it? Yes, yeah, so there's two issues that have to be done, dealt with here. First, we have to make sure that the hospitals that 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 um, people, uh, minorities and diverse people have access to have the facilities to be able to deliver the vaccines. And the other one is, of course, to get that community to accept to go and take a vaccine. And that's something that um, is going to be a difficult one because I think there is a pretty uh, high rate of um, um, worry or reticence for people uh, to go and take a vaccine. And, and, and I think that's a, a higher representation within the more uh, ethnic and, and, and uh, different people of uh, r different racial backgrounds than it is in the uh, broader community. So that, there's, there's two elements that have to, have to be worked out as to how we make sure that the right people are covered. Yeah, there's some absolutely shocking statistics. Uh, uh, that we're, we're looking at right now from APM Research Lab. One in 875 black Americans has died. Um, one in 925 indigenous Americans have died. Um, one in 2,100 Asian Americans have died. Absolutely startling statistics. Why do we see such disparity in the United States with different groups and how they've been affected by this? I think the answer to that is a very complex one. It probably includes something to do with the um, access to healthcare, uh, a, a lot to do with the health status already, but also uh, uh, various variances in biology. We know, for instance, that um, uh, uh, black people have a higher risk of, and such as Indian people, also the same people from India, um, higher risk of uh, uh, cardiovascular disease than uh, white people have. And that's something to do with the genetic background. So it's probably a combination of um, social uh, and uh, socioeconomic and um, genetic backgrounds. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.